Are you guys aware that I wrote a book? Yeah, that's right. I wrote a book. It's called The Nimble Warrior. It's a guide to moving better, improving performance, and reducing injury. So why did I write this book? Well, after I got back from Afghanistan, I was a bit banged up. I kind of screwed up my back. And slowly but surely, I started just degenerating to the point where I couldn't really move properly and I couldn't enjoy the things that I really enjoyed in life, like training and playing sports and playing with my son. So you know what? I said, I got to make a change, and I did. So I worked with a coach, and I found out all kinds of new cool shit that I put in the book that helped me get from being kind of immobile and stuck in bed to being able to do all the things I love again. So check out the book. The link is in the show notes, the nimblewarriorbook.com. Head to the website, and you know what? I'm giving my book away for free. All you need to do is cover shipping and handling. I've got limited quantity so get on it hop on it get it and even better than that you get a book i give one dollar to the wounded warriors canada fund how's that sound all right guys let's get to the episode all right all right all right today's episode of the heart to kill podcast we have on alex main alex main is a solid dude turns out we have a common story when it comes to pre-training before we went to afghanistan Additionally, he started a really cool company that I'm proud to be a part of called Alpha Veteran. So today we talk about Alpha Veteran, what it means to be an Alpha Veteran, and what his company is doing for Canadian Armed Forces veterans across the country. So without further ado, here we go. Welcome to the Hard to Kill podcast, the go-to podcast for military, LEO, and EMS professionals. Sharing ideas and experiences from around the world to make you hard to kill. Here's your host, Dave Morrow. Three, two, one. Here we go, ladies and gents. We've got Alex Main on the podcast today. Uh, Alex and I uh, actually go way back, but we didn't even know we went way back. Uh, we, were, uh, we were on pre-training together and we only linked up a few months ago. And uh, just through conversation, realized, oh shit, we're in the same platoon on lead up training. What the fuck? So, uh, Alex got a really cool story. He's got a, a really cool business going on uh, called Alpha Veterans. And I wanted to have him on so he could explain to everybody uh, what Alpha Better Veterans is and uh, why Alex is such a badass dude. So, Alex, welcome to the show, man. And uh, why don't you give everybody just a you know, background as to uh, who you are and, uh, and what you're doing right now? Okay, so I'm a young corporal from a 22nd Battalion French uh, uh, regiment in Quebec City, the Van Deuce. Uh, so I got Van in, uh, yeah, Van Deuce, <laughs> man, and I got in pretty young, uh, 18 years old. I was in Afghanistan. I uh, had my 19th birthday in Afghanistan. So uh, ran through everything pretty quickly, uh, pretty young. And I actually went through uh, getting out of the armed forces and asking for help young also. I got some support, went through my whole passage of becoming and uh, knowing uh, more about myself and how to take care of my affections and uh, all, all the surrounding uh, things that come with it. And I everything very young. And now at the 30 years old, uh, I am now helping other veterans go through their process uh, showing people that it's not a big monster, it's just something uncomfortable to go through. And uh, that with the right uh, information, we can really go about uh, uh, having a better life. And that's what Alpha Veteran is all about, is uh, not necessarily saying people that were better than them. It's more of the idea, the image of Alpha Veteran is a, uh, is a veteran that uses all the tools, all the knowledge that he can go get to be the better self, uh, the better uh, the, the better version of himself uh, to come back and not only be independent for himself, but also be there to help other people close to him. Because once you can take care of you, you can take care of other people. Solid. Yeah, the uh, first thing I saw from you was the uh, Salon de Compassion um, right. in Saint-Jean. And that's where we kind of linked up. And when I saw it, I was like, huh. It's like, that's, that sounds interesting. So that's when we kind of linked up. So that kind of touches base on what, what you're looking at, like trying to exactly. optimize, optimize all of us veterans to be that, you know, model that um, we can be. And mm -hmm. like, I really identify with that message. So how'd you, how'd you come up with this? Like where, where did this all come about? 
So uh, it all started when I first uh, started getting medicated for uh, over six to seven pills per day at 21 years old. And uh, uh, when I came in to see the doctor, I asked for help because I had uh, uh, liver and kidney, like uh, not failure, but um, uh, aches and pains. And uh, what's the bigger word? Uh, like uh, uh, wake me up during the night and stuff like that at 21 right. years old. Insomnia, uh, insomnia. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. And um, uh, when, when that doctor prescribed me that eight pill, that really was the turning page because I realized at one point uh, there was an agenda and I, my interests were not on that agenda. I was uh, literally a candy machine for medication and I made that, that money ball go forward just by the fact of consuming opioids and uh, amphetamine uh, for, as medication. And uh, from that point on, I, I started looking outside the box and it never stopped from there. Uh, I started helping veterans change their medication throughout uh, a program that I started with uh, Consulting Grow, which is uh, access and education of medical cannabis. Uh, from there, I realized that yes, medication is good, but unfortunately, uh, a wounded leg or a, a toward ligament or anything that's really physique uh, will not be uh, 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 repaired just by medical cannabis. It's a, it's a good way of uh, uh, going about life and uh, uh, controlling that chronic pain and everything that comes with inflammation, but uh, you still got more work to go in and take care of that wound. So throughout the fairs that you mentioned, the compassion fairs for veterans, uh, we realized that uh, we needed a whole new vessel to really uh, attract veterans to uh, look for a better way of taking care of themselves. And that's where Alpha Veterans came into place. It's going to be the image and the head of the movement of veterans that will take all the tools from Blue Cross and other therapists all around, uh, like uh, zoo therapy for dogs. Uh, uh, there's also therapy with horses. Just all these outside the box way of thinking that the uh, modern society or modern medicine is not really doing promotion of. Well, Alpha Veteran knows that it works, and uh, that's where Alpha Veteran comes into play. We get, uh, get the access to the veterans, easy access. We really make that ball go for paperwork, administration. All that comes into play with Alpha Veteran. That's um, that's really important. <laughs> I, I, the the unique part about what you're doing is I, I hadn't seen it anywhere in Canada. Um, and you know, there's, there's groups that help out other veteran businesses that that's a, that's a thing. Um, and that's great, but yours is specifically tailored to really getting the best services available and in front of the veteran. Um, so that's, that's pretty progressive, man. Like that, that's a, you're, you're taking on something really, really big. So what's the response been so far from the community, uh, since you got started? I mean, uh, the response right now is still uh, distant in the fact that where people have to talk about their emotions and uh, 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 mental uh, issues, uh, the, there's still a big stigma around that subject. So uh, Alpha Veteran is uh, going to be a great tool to attack that stigma, but it's still a work in progress. Where people are very uh, direct right now is everything that zoo therapy and medical cannabis uh, people are really uh, uh, enjoying that that part because uh, uh, a lot of people have been doing it or uh, as a legal side. But when you realize with the right education and the right access, uh, this is a medication like all other opioids uh, and uh, amphetamine that are being uh, prescribed on a daily basis. So just throughout education, uh, it makes it a very nice uh, uh, service. And the veterans are very, very uh, uh, interested in this outside the box way of medicating. Uh, zoo therapy is very interesting because a lot of people like animals. So uh, to go open up in front of an animal and that it gives results, uh, that's also a very nice uh, way of uh, going about it. And everything that's uh, putting in the work, like uh, ther uh, physical therapists, to so go, go see osteo, masso, uh, physiotherapists, uh, that's uh, still a, a ball going forward, but uh, once we're going to have a, a good example of what uh, uh, hard work comes into play, uh, we're going to have a, a great way of uh, showing them these veterans that think it's the end, but 
I saw a guy at uh, 55, uh, 45 years old uh, go about working back on his body, and it, it took longer, but the results were there. And uh, Alpha Veteran was uh, from the beginning to the, to the end. And uh, this guy is going to be a great, great example in the future to show veterans what you can do with some hard work and the great information. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a crucial thing, right? Um, the amount of information that we have now is, is unlimited, really. I mean, you can go to any site, anywhere you want, and just drink from a fire hose. But knowing what information is good compared to what information is kind of horse shit, that's crucial. So what you're doing is really important. I'm, I'm you know, uh, the listeners out there, um, you should also know, like, I, I, I partnered up with Alex because uh, he said, hey, man, I need somebody to to do some PT stuff. And since I'm online, I was like, I jumped on it right away because what you're doing is that holistic approach. Um, out West, they call it um, functional medicine. But rather than, I was in the same boat too, taking pills. I was like, well, how, how is this getting my back and knee better? I'm just wondering, you know, and I'm going to physio. I'm like, okay, check. These are two things, I guess, that like, I, I, I felt better. But the pills, I was like, is this lifetime? This doesn't make sense. I'm sure there's a better way. But getting to that realization isn't easy. And if you don't know, you, you don't know what you don't know. And this is cool because, like you're saying, we're going to start marrying up or you're going to start marrying up, you know, therapists um, that obviously, um, you know, veterans that are injured are covered um, to get that therapy. But also, you know, there's the potential for, you know, using uh, medical cannabis rather than opioids. Um, you know, getting the, the right, um, you know, mental health uh, specialist to work with you and just exactly. figure out like, why are you so banged up? And why can't you get out of the hole? And like, I'm on that journey too. But, um, you know, I, I've gone down the road of health and fitness. For those that haven't, I can I can only imagine how like and yourself too, how hard it must have been just to get yourself out of the hole. And that's where we get stuck. And then you're like, fuck it, I'm this is my life. I'm done. You know, and that, and that, you know, the, you know, travel down that path long enough. And then you have, you know, the unfortunate incidents where guys take their own lives, which sucks. So, um, dude, uh, you're doing a great job here, man. I'm, I, I'm so impressed by how much you've done so far and how long you've been in operation now. Like it's, it hasn't been that long, right? No, no it hasn't been that long. Actually, what, uh, the, the reason that, uh, we, we took off, uh, with a, like a, a respectable bang is the fact that for two years now I've been out of the army and I've been doing all these services, but without um, uh, a headline, without like a, a, a nice branding and a nice uh, complete uh, company. But I was doing this uh, throughout, just working about uh, from my house and helping guys left and right. But now that we found out that with a nice enterprise, a nice logo and nice direction, people will realize um, have a better pers- um, better perspective of what the, the real goal is here. And it's becoming an alpha veteran. And again, it's not being better than other people, it's being the best that you can. And a veteran has so much experience. We don't even realize it because uh, during our, our career, nobody's really t- t- tapping us on the back like, great job. You're actually having a nice experience right now and you're learning about a lot about life and how to go about it. But uh, in, on contrary, they're going to give you a hard time and blah, blah, blah. That's the army. But once you come out, you ha- still have all that experience, baggage, uh, life, uh, life luggage that you can uh, use in your daily basis. And Alpha Veteran is really going to promote that uh, through hard work. Yes, but we're used to that already. It's just uh, continuing the mission, and but the mission right now is not helping necessarily Canada, but helping each other, helping ourselves throughout therapists, medication, zoo therapy, mental health, uh, 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 training, nutrition, uh, uh, going back to social life, so social clubs, or or just uh, dressing up uh, uh, like an alpha veteran to be part of a team, which is very respectable. We are following a whole bunch of superstars and rappers that get drugged out of their heads and get drunk. And uh, uh, the, our kids see this. They're twerking left and right. We're doing promotion of, like, garbage, and that's all okay. But right now, I'm doing promotion of well-being and being the best that you can while tr- working hard, and that's what Canada 
is uh, uh, best known for all around the world. We are so respected all around the world. So I believe that we should be respected here in Canada mostly. Beautiful message, man. Beautiful message. Um, I was just having this conversation with another, um, another veteran entrepreneur. And it's like when we get out, we, we got to look out for each other's six o'clock still, right? Um, and especially in the entrepreneur space, it can be pretty, pretty shifty. But once we know we're in the same club and we're looking out for each other and that's what you're doing right now, uh, it means a lot because we, we have a certain, certain honor, a certain duty um, to what well, used to be our country, but now even more so, you know, for those that are out. And this is like, like you just mentioned, man, that we want, we should be the example, you know, we, we should be out there um, showing the rest of Canada. And I think a lot of us to our own detriment, we're, we're too humble for our own good. Yeah. And we won't, we won't make, put ourselves out there because we're like, no, I did my time and that's fine. But you it know is. what? It is, you know, but you know what? We, we do have something to share. People want to hear what we had to do uh, overseas and whether or not you went overseas or not, you still put your name on that, that dotted line and you're still a veteran. Um, you know, be the example, be the example in your community, to your family, um, to your friends. And it, it makes a difference, man, because we definitely have a different way of looking at life. So I want to ask you, you know, down the road, as Alpha Veteran grows, um, what's going to be that sign that tells you, wow, we did it, we're successful, we knocked it out of the park? Well, that, that's a big question because I like to dream. So sometimes my dreams go a little too far. But I imagine uh, if ever I wake up in the morning, I'm taking care of Quebec City, uh, Quebec uh, province, uh, I will be very happy. If I'm taking uh, care of East Canada, I will be very, very happy. And if everything goes uh, to plan and we go uh, straight across Canada down to West, I will be very, very happy. And the dream is uh, taking care of and helping uh, all of Canada. And uh, I would even see um, building a, a nice community of entrepreneurs that are not only selling and buying from uh, veterans, but also uh, giving back our experience uh, and life experience back to the society that uh, need great services. If it's in construction, there's missing quality work there if it's in the training there's missing quality work there so i believe that uh in every subject that uh, exists veterans could bring an even higher uh, uh standard uh, yeah uh, yeah absolutely standard. man yeah and be uh, i believe that we can offer that to canada because we are working hard stiff guys that can go over and above for peanuts for peanuts. So imagine to take care of your own family and for your own bank account. And after that, having pride, I believe that. And it, again, it's not that we're better. It's through the experience, our standard is higher by just the fact of being in the armed forces. But we don't realize that. But I'm here saying that there is a higher standard that military personnel and veteran can give to Canada. Hands down, man. Um, making sure that, and that's part of the reason why I have the podcast and I, I'm doing what I do. It's we have a unique skill set that is really, really valuable. And until you realize that, I know it's hard getting out because you don't know what you're good at in the sense that the civvy world's kind of scary. Um, they don't understand where you're coming from, but having that message play over again in the back of your mind, like you're solid you've got a skill set that and a bunch of skill sets that people really want, but you need to get out there and tell people cause they just don't know, mm. you know? And so, um, you know, organizations like yours, um, can definitely act as a, as a springboard, as an echo. Well, I shouldn't say an echo chamber, but definitely a, 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 a way to get, um, veterans. Or just an engaged. example, an example of it working, an example, a sort of leadership in a way that shows people, not leadership on the boss, leadership in a way of look, it's working. Mm -hmm. Hard work, eating, eating veggies, training. I mean, just do it in that sense of leadership, not in the sense alpha veterans, the best and the boss. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. It's an example, a yeah. simple, simple example. 
Yeah. Roger that, man. Um, so how does a Canadian Armed Forces veteran get in touch with you, get in touch with the organization and um, start moving forward? So the best way uh, to get in contact with Alpha Veteran is through our website, uh, www.alphaveteran with an S dot C-A which is the best way to get in contact with us. And uh, also our uh, 1833V-Force with a S uh, phone number to uh, contact us. And uh, once on the website, you have all the uh, inscription formulas to uh, go, uh, get into contact with all our services uh, completely. And uh, as soon as you uh, uh, get an in, uh, inscription uh, done, uh, Alpha Veteran rep Representative is gonna contact you to finalize your inscription and to get your paperwork uh, on the way to uh, the services of your choice. Uh, if ever uh, your, your administration with Veterans Affairs is not done, which you need them to be done to have access to all the services, uh, I have a whole bunch of veterans and uh, services that can help you out with the paperwork also uh, to get that ball rolling. But uh, of course, uh, paperwork extremely long, but get, get it going right away. And uh, the faster you do it, the faster you get it. But uh, we're ready to serve as much as veteran as we can. Yeah, that's, that's good to know. I think a lot of guys just get frustrated with uh, the process. But to have somebody that give you a helping hand when doing the paperwork and contacting fact, which is never the most pleasant experience of anybody's day, um, can be pretty frustrating. So to have somebody in your corner, that, that's huge. And, um, and to also know what services are available and for somebody to go to bat for you, that's a, that's a really big and important yeah. um, part of what you, you guys do. So good on you for that. Um, so um, I'm going to drop all that in the show notes. So if, um, nice. if the listeners didn't catch, I oh, didn't write down fast enough. They didn't want to scroll back. It'll be in the show notes as well. So we'll throw the links in there. Thank so you very much. Click right in. And um, so Alex, before we uh, wrap up here, um, could you tell the listeners uh, either what you're listening to, what you're reading? Uh, you're a very cerebral guy. I know that um, you're a hard charger. So um, is there anything that's, um, that's caught your eye or caught your ear recently? Uh, I have multiple, multiple things uh, that I do on a daily. Uh, I gotta be honest, it hasn't been five years, but uh, what I do is uh, easily a motivation video on a daily. Uh, just uh, when I'm alone working, sometimes it could be extremely long days. So uh, just uh, get those video going and uh, listen to uh, positive things, right? Uh, we don't hear enough positive things in our daily lives. Uh, even if you're with family and, fr and friends, it doesn't mean that uh, good things are happening. So just a little bit of motivation, a little tap in the back. Even if it's audio, it still gets in there and it does, it, it does its work. After that, uh, I'm, uh, I read uh, The Nibble Warrior. Yeah, yeah. buddy. <laughs> yeah, read that, that lecture when I'm uh, downsizing in my bed. Uh, a little bit of uh, Nibble Warrior is going to get that work done also. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. That's, I know, that's, 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 that's not, I, I know, I know we're laughing right now, but I literally just gave him the book. Like, was it? Two yeah, weeks yeah, ago? yeah, exactly. And uh, I'm not a big reader. So uh, that's what I have um, uh, between my hands right now. And I'm going through it. And uh, it's very interesting. Very Thanks, interesting. Buddy. Thank you, Dave. Very yeah, nice. You're, you're welcome, man. I'll answer any questions you got. So, hey, do you have any? Um, do you have a? Do you have a site that you uh, primarily go to? Like, I I do the Mulligan Brothers on YouTube. That's like my go-to for inspiration. Okay, do you have okay. one that, that's good to go? Uh, no, I downloaded all my videos off of YouTube. I got them on the loop on my uh, my phone. Cool. Uh, if I listen to videos, it's gonna be a couple of uh, Wim Hof to do those breathing exercises. Mm. Uh, I can't say that I'm really uh, uh, on a daily on that one, but uh, weekly, uh, easily, uh, Wim Hof Contractions uh, is very, very interesting. And I'm looking forward to offering it uh, with Alpha Veteran as a Viking meditation. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you see uh, that the Wim Hof Method, so the, the three scientists that published the, the actual work, based on Wim Hof, won the Nobel Prize in um, medicine and- uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it, it's, a, <laughs> it's a very legit 
new novel form of understanding the human body and it's due to Wim Hof. So we definitely have to, once, once we get that, you get that Viking meditation stuff up and running, we definitely have to have you back on and, and, and talk uh, about that a little bit. I will be happy more. because even if there's not the, the studies and everything, what I feel is real. And I, I don't need nobody to tell me that. Uh, that is a straight natural feeling that I felt throughout my whole life but I'm recreating inside a, a control environment is very interesting. Solid. Yeah. I'm, I'm so I'm really intrigued by this whole thing. And now that it's got the blessing from the scientific community, cause that's yeah, kind of my plus, background. It's good, like, good. yeah. And you do it. It's just like, okay, this is going to be a new thing. I think we're going to have to, to, to do some Wim Hof together, man. Sounds yeah, good. Man. <laughs> so uh, last thing, most important question of all, what makes you hard to kill? What makes me hard to kill? is daily work man daily work nutrition nice. what comes in is what energy comes out man so the right food gives you the right energy stay hydrated and just keep take care of the vessel and the, the mind will be free to do whatever it wants after i love it man tons of veggies yeah, man. Eating that Indian food at the buffet too, oh, man. That's wow, the way we get man, it done. That so that's, good. That's the way we get it done at Alpha Veteran, man. That's so <laughs> good. Dude, it's been a pleasure having you on. Thank you. And uh, yeah, continued success. Let's get the message out there as much as possible. Uh, like, share, post, do what you got to do. Um, and let's get our uh, fellow community uh, you know, linked up with you. And Thank you, Dave. Getting the right treatments. All right, dude. It's been a real hoot. And uh, I'll talk to you soon, buddy. See ya. Cheers. Thanks for listening to the podcast. You can find out more about training, nutrition, and mindset at DaveMorrow.net. Be sure to like us on Facebook and Instagram at DaveMorrowPT. And don't forget, strong people are hard to kill.